Hello people of the web and YouTube, DTBK here, and welcome back to Hack Time! Woo! Alrighty bros, if you couldn't tell by the name of the video, we're gonna be taking a look at steganography, and not just any old steganography, we're actually gonna be taking a look at audio steganography, which is basically the, well, act of hiding an image and or a text file within a sound file. Now, it sounds really complicated, but it's actually not, and well, I won't guess that this video is going to be more than like 10 minutes long it's going to be really short now basically to do this you're going to need a few programs to first of all encode your message and you're also going to need a few programs to well decode your message now for uh, a few free programs to decode messages are spectrum analyzer which you basically just um load up the site hit choose file select your file i'm going to select this one for now hit open and then i'm going to run it now it's going to sound like garbage because this is basically what we're going to be doing. We're going to be turning that word into, well, sound. And if you want to know what that word is, it just says wait for more in app bash. I just decided to get really cryptic with it. I thought mix up two different types of encryptions together and see what would happen. But yeah, that's for another video. But for now, guys, let's actually get to this. First of all, to make what we just done here, we're going to need a, a few programs. Now there's a few out there, but... My two favorite as of right now are Kogula Light and Audio Paint. Because in Audio Paint, you can just draw, hit render, it makes a sound for you just like that. Now, Kogula does the same thing, except you can open images in it and everything else, and you don't actually have to install it. Now, Audio Paint, it's actually an EXE. You have to install the whole thing, and, and as you can see, I don't have it actually installed. So we're going to not mess with that one for now. We're going to open up Kogula Light. Now, after you unzip it, you'll get this folder. And then what you want to do is you actually want to hit Kogula Light, and well, that's basically it. You can just draw whatever you want. You can write in, hell, oh god. It actually has a lag, so you want to wait a few seconds before it opens, but what you want to do is you just draw whatever the heck you want, and you're basically done. You just hit the little gear here that says render, and just like that. Our drawing has been turned into sound to be decoded by another user, and I gotta say, this does a pretty good job when it comes to actual drawings, but if you want to load a picture, it's gonna require some work. Now, first of all, you want to open up a picture that's, of course, in, well, black and white, and then you want to actually invert the colors so that the black is showing while the white is actually what you want to be shown. And then you want to go up to sound, render without blue. And basically what this means is, well, try to pretend all the black here is the blue hertz range. And we're actually like telling the program to ignore that and just show the drawing itself. Now, it's kind of like um, cookie cutters in a way, I think from Sony Vegas. It, it ignores everything else but that basically. And once it's actually rendered without blue, you only have to do that one time, but I'm doing it again just to be safe, considering um, it's being a little bit buggy for me at the moment. Once you render it, you just hit File, Save Sound As, and you can basically save it wherever you want. I'm going to call this one Save, and as you can see, I've already tried to do this tutorial once already, and I messed something up, but it was my own bad, of course, of course. But yeah, guys, as of programs to decode our hidden messages, there's actually not that many out there, and some of my favorites are actually the online ones, but if you want to get a program to decode this actually on your computer, I really recommend getting Audacity. Considering all you have to do is open it up in Audacity, select the spectrogram mode, and you can basically view your message, zoom in on it, tweak it, do whatever you want, speed it up, slow it down, and you'll get good results pretty much. But if you want a good, decent offline one that is an audacity that's super easy to use and you just like click and go and it doesn't actually have to play out the sound in order to view it get spec spec is probably one of the better programs out there because all you really do is you hit um whatever file you want open and then it basically just decodes it without playing it i don't know how that works but i gotta say it does a pretty damn good job as you can see here there's our message but it's not as clear as in here, of course, because it's it's like rendering it without actually playing it. Again, I don't know how it's um doing that, but that's probably my second favorite choice for offline um spectrogram viewers out there. But yeah, before I leave off today's video, there's actually some settings here I want to show you that you may be interested in messing with in um Kogula. Basically, you get a set width at first for the default size, but as you can see, you can make these things as big as you want. But keep in mind, the bigger the image, the more 
hertz and sounds that, that are going to have to be thrown into, well, your audio file. And that won't do good if you're planning on hiding this in a video in plain sight like I plan on doing in the future. So you want to make sure to keep your images small, um, preferably black and white. And also, you want to be sure to go and hit tools, render options, and make sure your pitch range isn't too like crazy i mean you can really bump this up to something that only dogs could hear and hide it in something and still have it work i mean i'm eventually gonna try to do that but hmm but those kind of um sounds are really hard to decrypt and or to find half the time so i really recommend just keeping the default settings but that's just something to mess with if you want more detail just up these two and lower these do whatever you want just do do something till you get something you like basically and that's basically it now like i said this is basically like a paint program too you don't really have to import images you can draw you can use any kind of like tool you can select paste delete and yeah it's just all around a really versatile application it's basically the same as um uh, this other program right here, it's basically the same as Audio Paint, so if you can learn this one, you can learn the other one fairly simple. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for today's video, I pretty much talked about everything I wanted to talk about, but before I actually leave off today's video, I'm gonna actually show you a guys a hidden message I hid in one of my videos as a little test here. And this video will be up by tomorrow if you want to check it out for yourself, but... I wrote please here and eventually in my next few videos I'm gonna write um you guys some more messages so hopefully this will make some more sense in the future but yeah that's basically it I mean for like not app bashing but for steganography audio steganography is by far the easiest thing out there and it's probably one of the least known and uh, probably the one you can get away with the most if you get really good at it it's been around for quite a while honestly but yeah like i said guys i'm gonna leave today's video here on this tutorial i really hope you all enjoyed it dtpk is signing off peace install your atoma drivers now what you do to do this is actually pretty complicated what you have to do is you have to hold there's only 11 episodes here so that's why i can't really say much because i will end up ruining it for you guys